Hello everyone, Victor is here, your organic chemistry tutor, and today I have another synthesis that has been proposed by one of my subscribers. And in this case, we need to synthesize a big and complicated molecule starting from acetylene and epoxide as our two main sources of carbons, and of course we can also use any one carbon sources that we want to incorporate in our molecule. So let's look at our molecule and try to break it down into building blocks so we can see how we can incorporate the starting material pieces into that. First of all, one thing that jumps at me is this double bond over here. This is a cis double bond, which is most likely going to be coming from the acetylene. And we know that we can fairly easily accomplish that by using the hydrogenation on the Lindler's catalyst. Then I also see that I have this CH3 group over here. Well, if we are going to be using the acetylene chemistry, then adding the CH3 group to our molecule is going to be fairly easy via the reaction of acetylenide or alkynide anions, and that is just a one carbon fragment, and we can use any one carbon fragments that we want, so that one is an easy job for us. And finally, I'm seeing this two carbon block on the left side with bromine on carbon number two. If I start my count from the place of the attachment, I have carbon number one over here, carbon number two over here, and then I have some sort of a functional group. Whenever we see this type of a fragment, that screams the epoxide chemistry, and luckily for us, we already have an epoxide as a part of our starting materials, so we know that we are going to be using that. So we know how we are going to be making our double bond, we know where the methyl group is going to be coming from, we know where the part with the bromine is going to be coming from, so now it's time to stitch it all together. I'm going to start with acetylene and the first thing that we are going to do here is deprotonate it with a strong base, something like sodium amide which is a common base of choice, giving us the acetylenide ion like so. Next we are going to treat it with methyl iodide which is going to add a methyl group to our terminal alkyne which is the methyl group that we need in our final product on the right side of the molecule. Once I have this intermediate I'm going to deprotonate it again and I'm going to treat it with epoxide to add my two carbon fragment. So my step number one is going to be NaNH2 again, and my step number two is going to be the reaction with the epoxide, followed by the acidic workup to protonate everything that needs to be protonated, which is going to give me an intermediate with a triple bond and the OH group on the second carbon away from the new bond that I have just formed. And to finish up the synthesis, I need to replace my OH group with the bromine and convert the triple bond into a double bond. So Let's deal with the triple bond first by treating it with hydrogen on the Lindlor's palladium, and I'll remind you that the Lindlor's palladium is palladium that has been poisoned by lead or barium sulfate or carbonate, typically suspended on calcium carbonate and some quinoline for good measure, which is going to give us cis double bond. And finally, in order to replace our OH with the bromine, we can use a million different ways. Probably we want to use something softer, something that is not going to touch our our double bond, so something like let's say PBR3, which is going to give us the final product. Fun synthesis like that that use chemistry from all over the place always make me excited. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching. If you learned something new today, make sure you boop that like button and leave me the comment below. Your comments and likes really help in promoting these videos and I really appreciate your support. You guys are awesome. Subscribe to the channel for daily organic chemistry updates if you haven't done so yet. Watch this video next and I will see you tomorrow.